सो बाइनरी सर्च और सिक्वेंशियल सर्च बाइनरी सर्च नहीं 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 सिक्वेंशियल सर्च बाइनरी बाइनरी बाइन नेवर नेवर बाइन This video is brought to you by Grammarly. More about them later. So throughout my college journey, I hated data structures and algorithms. In fact, in my first day in college, in my first computer science class, I actually started to hate data structures and algorithms so much, the concepts so much that I thought, "Kya programming mere liye nahi hai. I am not made for programming. I should give up." immediately so what was that changed my life from there so reality is on my first week of classes i was thinking why they are teaching me you know linked list binary search dfs pfs i was waiting for the day when they will start teaching me how to build real world apps and the day never came so i actually went home and i started making from bottom to top approach agar aap top to bottom define karte ho when you learn the concepts and you fix your concepts master the basic concepts and then you make the final project i went in the reverse order i started to look what are the projects i can make and then simultaneously see what concepts are needed and then go back and forth to basic concepts to finish that project and this is how it works for recruiting as well which i'll come back to later so basically when i started from bottom to top approach i was able to learn more so in those days i created a simple android app a simple app which has only one line of code and it taught me so many things the basically one line of code was to to tell basically iphone is jailbroken or not or android phone is rooted or not agar aap online search karoge you can easily find that one statement to check that but the entire process process of making an app that teaches you so much of publishing to play store or or whether you're making a website pushing it to the world that teaches you so many things that classroom at least the first computer science class cannot and jab aap practically ye cheeze seekh jate ho that at the end of the day this is your end goal and when you keep your end goal in your mind you are able to appreciate the knowledge you are getting through data structures and algorithms and you ask better questions as well so that is the mindset i took every single day to the classroom to ask better questions and to be a better programmer but still i still hate data structures and algorithms and let me tell you how i was able to get around the way of data structures and algorithms so sabse pehle yaar baat karte hain why they are important so let's take a real world example let's say you are making an app called calculator so for a calculator app there are two ways to make it number one is that if you start from top to bottom approach so top to bottom approach is you learn every single way of creating buttons so ye sare buttons hain you need to create most efficient way of adding two numbers subtracting creating a graph creating logarithms well agar aapko log function banana hai if you are creating log function root square root so basically writing the code to calculate square root uh, logarithm in the most efficient way now after finding the efficient way of calculating all of these functions then you create the app with the most optimum functions and then you push it for testing and then you push it to people now the bottom up approach would be you first create the app with slow function logarithm function add square root all are very slow but the app is quickly being made you quickly make the app and you release a better version beta version jo bhi kehna so you create the better version and push it to people and then slowly improve it and then finalize and send it to people so these are two completely different ways how startups hire versus fang companies hire so startups are in second category and fang are in first category so fang basically chahta hi hai fang is actually trying to hire the talent who knows how to write the most efficient code and it may take 6 months one year but it should be efficient with least amount of mistakes and at the same time startups want to push code really fast like open ai who was able to release chat gpt really fast so these are these are, this is so this is actually huge difference in mindset how recruiting works as well so see karan i want to share my personal interviewing experience as well so when i applied for startups like hubspot airbnb doordash so all of these companies when i apply for roles like front end ya fir android development ya ios development they only ask me front end related interview questions javascript only for android android only questions and android only project and for ios ios only questions and ios only project 
सो दे वर नॉट टेस्टिंग मी एट ऑल ऑन डेटा स्ट्रक्चर एल्गोरम्स दे वॉन्टेड मी कि अब मैं कितनी जल्दी हाउ फास्ट आई कैन क्रिएट एन ऐप एंड शिप इट फॉर दैम ऑन दर हैंड फॉर फैन कंपनीज दे वर ट्राइंग टू टेस्ट मी हाउ एफिशियंट डी एस से नॉलेज आई हैव एंड हाउ एफिशियंट कोड आई कैन राइट यू नो मोर देन योर टेक्निकल स्किल्स वॉट्स मोर इंपॉर्टेंट इज योर क्लियर कट कम्युनिकेशन सो वेन आई केम टू यू एस आई वॉज वेरी न्यू टू इंग्लिश एज वेल एज अमेरिकन इंग्लिश आई यूज टू राइट वर्ड्स लाइक सी ओ एल ओ यू आर फॉर कलर एज कम्पेयर टू सी ओ एल ओ आर सो इन इंडिया इफ आई एम सेंग आई एम टेकिंग क्लास इट मीन्स I am actually teaching a class in India, but in US, if I say I am taking class, it means I am taking class as a student. So all of these words and phrases were new to me, and what helped me to be confident in my writing and to speak English and write English clearly was Grammarly, because with the help of that, I was able to sound natural in my communication when I was sending emails to my hiring manager, recruiter, or whether typing a WhatsApp message or even while writing comments. It has helped me a lot. So Grammarly definitely has a free version which helps you with words. suggestions spelling mistakes grammar mistakes punctuation but with paid version you are able to rephrase the whole sentence and sound more natural which has helped me the most and most importantly a plagiarism checker so what are you waiting for dosto you can get started for free with grammarly by going to grammarly.com/singinusa and you will get 20% off discount on their premium features and you will be able to become fluent and clear in your communication as well with them so check out with my link in description and isi karan because my goal was always in project making i was never able to never able to crack a single dsa interview till my final year even after graduating i was struggling i was rejected from google facebook microsoft all of these companies at least two to three times even i went for on site for facebook one day and then rejected and came back home so it happened with me and then i found a route to go around data structures and algorithms and prove the interviewer that i can make it let me tell you how i was able to do it so basically the route was pretty simple number 1 practice i did 30 to 40 mock interviews if you go to lead code mock interview section you can send it to a friend for one hour i was interviewing and for another hour i was an interviewer so i was getting to learn from both sides and with this way i was actually able to figure out the best way to explain a problem an example could be yaar if a question if i if given one question it can be done with bfs dfs and let's say another approach is a star so these are the three possible solution for a problem interviewer asked me that like you know write the best code for this and i try to first ask good questions about the problem statement i ask yaar ye problem statement mein are you sure that our constraints are like 1 to 1000 so i i try to ask as many good questions about the problem so the interviewer knows ki yaar mere paas acha idea hai. i have the idea of the, of the problem and i'm not like you know hawao se main answer nahi dhoondne wala i will come up with the solution so the interviewer knows that i know about my concepts and i'm trying to come to a best solution i might not be able to come to but i'm trying my best uske baad i try to walk through my solution i say that ki yaar a star bfs dfs all three can solve it but i think bfs has the best solution but i cannot write the code for it mujhe dfs se aata solution but i can not write for bfs i know how it works i can explain you how it works but i can give you a simple solution but for the best solution i will have to dig in deep for bfs i will say ki i need more time to improvise my solution but for now i can only give you dfs with this interview will know ki yaar i know how to solve this problem i just need more time even though my dsa is not the best even though i don't know how to solve a same problem in 10 ways but i know the simple solution which is a greedy approach or or any simple solution i know how to improve it i know the list of concepts to improve it i can tell it tell it to the interviewer but i might not be able to save in those 30 or 60 minutes so this is my way of telling the interviewer ki ha mujhe aata hai but i cannot do it right now and this is how it works in big companies as well if you can as long as you can walk through your solution and little give little bit hint about the best solution that is enough for many cases as well and let me tell you why it is fair kyunki aajkal kya chal raha hai i can tell you uh, Two years ago, there were some fan companies. They were mass recruiting. 
I, I don't want to take any names. So they were mass recruiting and they were sending two questions in the email in a coding challenge. And one week later, there's only one interview round. If you have two questions, you do those two questions properly. After that, there's one round just about the same two questions that you did at home and you are you are accepted. So you, that tells how unfair it is. And you know, keep with chat GPT, what you can do if you're given a question at home. And then next is just explain those two same question and you are accepted. This is very unfair. And it shows the possibility of fair, fair that, that shows fair possibility of cheating, which is unfair for many candidates. So isi karan, to improve it, they are doing most of the questions face to face, even through a video, but face to face, so that they can see the mindset of the interviewee and that how much experience the candidate has. Now, why I think DSA is still unfair way of testing candidates, because let's say that you give candidate one question, wo ek question solve kar pa hai. the candidate is able to solve one question in best way. But what if you give the same candidate a project with 1 million lines of code, will the candidate be able to navigate through those lines will the candidate be able to navigate through one file to another Use manage karna aega. will the candidate be able to write a maintainable code with one million lines of code going through one file to another maybe yes maybe no you don't know right so that's why it is kind of unfair but what startups do is when i was interviewing at some of the companies like hubspot doordash or maybe airbnb so what they did they gave me a code base with around 15 files and they tested me in the interview how I'm going from one file to another, how I'm using Google search, how I'm reading at Stack Overflow, how I'm reading documentation, how I'm getting an understanding of the code. That was what they were testing on. And I personally like how they were testing because that is again bottom up approach and that's something I enjoy as well that helps you learn faster. And your concepts are like all of these libraries are already written. No one is writing from scratch. I have never written linked list code in my life in the in the last three years of my programming career. I have never written DFS, PFS. We use and import those libraries. We never write them from scratch. We don't even need to know how they work. We just need to know the best way and who up easily find kar sakte ho just using a Google search, which algorithm is best for which problem. So at the end of the day, you never use those basic DSA concepts in 80 to 90 percent of the cases maybe 10 20 percent you need to have some understanding but the point is what is more important is navigating through a project with 1 million lines of code how to make it maintainable and how to write clean code which is easier for everyone to understand that is the skill which should be more tested and that's why i think dsa is little bit unfair you can imagine one day you know top companies ask same question to five candidates and they are like discussing the same questions agar is candidate ko sare questions pehle se pata hai, and if this candidate knows through talking to other people and already knows what what the questions are then it's kind of unfair because most of the time most of the interviewers what they do is if there are like you know three interviews in a day same person will ask the same question for all three but all three are friends accidentally then you know there's a significant scope of teaching but the probability is less, but still there is significant scope of teaching. So that's why I really like the way of how startups are interviewing these days. And I really enjoyed those interviews as well. So let me know what do you think. This is my personal opinion. And thank you so much for watching.